Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, as you can see, we're going to change the monitor on my Sega Universal arcade cabinet here. Now, I tried to get this thing to run JAMA using an adapter by uh, River Science, and I just couldn't get it to work. I'm thinking the adapter is just faulty. But to show you the picture that I do get, I have the cabinet hooked up to the Pandora's box 4S. Now the four, the Pandora's boxes are Chinese JAMA, but you can make them JAMA with an adapter. Here we go. So you got the monitor here, and you can see I really don't need to replace it. Um, but we still got this crap we gotta deal with. And, you know, while you're playing you can see it. I don't know if this is burning or from the sun or what. Um, so, I really don't need to replace it, but I want to. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and uh, take the old monitor out, put the new one in, and we'll see where we go from there. If all else fails and the new monitor, which is over there, doesn't fit in, you know, I, I guess I can always go back to this one. Um, but we'll see. You know, this is an old monitor, it's the original one. You can see right here, you know, a little bit of the distortion. Alright, had a little interruption there, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look again. So you can see the distortion, and if I play some HD games on here, um, you know, it will get a little more annoying, but yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. Alright, so we're going to begin, and I'm just going to go over step by step. Um, we'll either be successful together or we won't. And I'll just show you uh, how I'm going to do things. Uh, my recommendations, you can take them or you cannot. It's totally up to you. Um, what I may, what I may do or explain why I do it may sound ridiculous, but, hey, it's totally up to you. So obviously, you have the Sega Universal cab, the Lindbergh Universal cabinet. First thing you want to do is turn it off. So if you look under the cab right here, here's your power switch. Got everything turned off. Now, the next thing obviously you want to do is is unplug your cabinet. You just don't want to take any chance of while you're messing with anything, um, you know, g getting turned on while you're unhooking it. Now, now here's the thing. Well, my assumption anyways. Now the HD arcade monitors, those I assume are probably a hundred percent, a hundred times safer than a CRT monitor. CRT monitors can hold some voltage sometimes, give you a nice little shock. Um, luckily it's never happened to me, but I've heard old war stories. Still, I highly recommend turning everything off and making sure there's no power going through your cabinet while you're working on it. The reason being is, you know, maybe there's an electrical surge and, you know, you might mess something up. I, I don't know. Just take it for what it is. Now. Your cabinet also has another backup switch right here. At least that's what I think it is. Let's turn that off and see what happens. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Yep. See, turned it back on, nothing. Alright. So, now let's get to the fun part. Okay, so, next thing we do, as with most arcade cabinets, you can pull your power cable from your arcade cabinet. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, I do that because when I'm working on a cabinet, it prevents me from tripping over the cable. So, nothing extravagant, no major reasoning, I just think it's safer. Alright, and... Uh, this is basically going to be the concept 
I'll show you what I'm doing next. I'll do it and then I'll cut back. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the marquee holder. You got four bolts here. One, two, three, four. And the size ugh, looks like a... I'm just looking here. Uh, 13, 30 seconds. Let's take a look. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this and, um, yeah. Okay, so now you can see we got the marquee and the marquee holder removed. It's amazing uh, the difference in size. But, next thing you want to do is remove your wiring right here for your uh, marquee light, so to speak. The marquee itself doesn't light up, but here's a light which does light up. So, it should be real simple. It's gonna unhook it. There you go. Nice and easy. Trying to take a look at something here. Again, idea of what's on the inside. Alright, so, next step we want to do. We want to remove this panel right here. You got, was it six screws? One, two, three, four, five, six. All you need is a regular screwdriver. Sorry for the brightness right here. Um, yeah, just remove those. And that's going to expose your uh, power hookup for the monitor, I believe. So let me go ahead and uh, we'll remove that and let's take a look at the next step. Okay, so here we are. We got the back panel off. And as you can see, it exposes some of the insides. Now... Obviously the reason why I'm doing all this is you can't just unbolt the monitor and yank it off because you got all sorts of cables hooked up. Uh, nice bright light. Okay, so right there, there, and there. Those are your video hookups for your image. Um, one is a DVI cable and one is a VGA cable. Now the reason why I have them both hooked up is because if you remember from a previous video I was trying to figure out just what the heck was going on as to why I was not getting any image. So those need to come undone. Then you, you got even more stuff. You got this set of cables right here. And it gets hooked up. You really can't see it. It's kind of hidden up in there. But there's a connector. Ooh, look at all that dust. Wow. This, I believe, goes to your monitor adjustment board. I could be wrong. And then it looks like you got another set of cables right there. You see that purple set? I'm not sure what that goes to. And No, wait. Let me see. Okay, I think that is your set of power cables to power on the monitor. It looks like that gets connected to this power supply. Here's to be a power supply. Yes it is. And then, what else we got here? Oh, okay, you see at the end that set of cables? That actually goes to your marquee light. So, Got quite a bit here. Let's see. Can I get these done with one hand? Probably not. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna cut. Uh, we'll get all these undone and uh, we'll go to the next step. All right, so there you are. You can see I got the video uh, cables undone. I got the monitor adjustment board cable undone. And I unhooked the monitor from the power supply. 
No, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna clean that sucker right there. That is just really bad. And clean right there. Okay, so you can see I just did a real quick cleanup, nothing extravagant. I might actually take that off, take it apart, and do a better cleanup, but let's get back on point here. The next step is we are going to remove this entire top piece right here. All of this. Now, you got smaller screws right here. One, two, three, four. Now, you also need to be aware of other screws right here. One and two. So we're going to take those off. And I kind of know what I'm doing right now because I kind of did this part before. Um, but yeah, so let's take it off. And this right here, once this is removed, this top portion, this will slide right off. So, let's get to it. Okay, so you can see we got the top off right here. Comes off real nice and easy. I'm not sure if this part actually comes out. Maybe it's stuck in there. Maybe not. Don't care. Now, we got our light protector, that's what I'm calling it, right here, and this just slides right out. And you can see, there's different notches in here, I'm not sure why. Um, I guess you can move this protector back. Why you would want to do that, I'm not sure. Um, maybe there's different setups, but either way, this just comes right out. So it's real nice and easy. Alright, so now we got our light exposed. Now I'm not quite sure what the next process will be. Um, it's kind of hard to figure out here. I'm thinking I'm going to remove these screws right here. One, two, three, four and see where that gets me. It might pop off. Uh, yeah, that's it's probably where I'm gonna go with. Looks like everything is together. Um, yeah, just by the feel, I'm thinking that's the next step. Uh, are there any bolts back here holding anything together? There's the unit for the light. Okay, so let's uh, go with that and see what happens. Hey, you never know. Okay, so here we are, and I was right. We remove those screws, and this whole lighting fixture just moves all the way up. So, so far, so good. I'll just give you a look at the back here. I like how these cabinets, you know, are put together, at least thus far. But yeah, this just slides all the way up. You might have to wiggle it back and forth, because as you can see, these notches, which go into those slots right there, those kind of hold everything in place. But, it just slides up. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Fortunately, I can't. But yeah, so this just pops right out. Uh, let me remove it and we'll, I'll show you the next shot. Okay, so there it's off. It's dirty. Um, the next step I'm thinking is probably these side panels right here. It looks like it's just two screws on each side. So let's start with that and um, we'll take another look. Alright, so as you can see I got one of these side panels off and it's just exactly as I thought. You remove those two screws and this slides right off. Now if you look, again this has got notches in it. I wonder if that's from like all the heat. But yeah, 
you can see the notches right there, right there, slide into right here. And you see that's where they rest, and everything is slowly just getting exposed. So let's, uh, I'll go ahead and finish this off and then we'll see what we do next. Focus. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.